In this video, we will see how SOLIDWORKS PDM easily computes a bill of materials for our imported data, as well as how we can export that bill of materials as a CSV file that can be opened in Excel. The first step is to generate a bill of materials inside of SOLIDWORKS PDM. We'll start off by looking at an assembly that was created outside of the vault. So if your assembly is already inside of your vault, that bill of materials will be computed for you automatically. So what we'll do here is from this second instance of our file explorer, I'm going to copy this flashlight folder into our vault by dragging and dropping it into my local view. So looking at this flashlight folder, I can see this contains components here, a subassembly, a top level assembly, all of the components as well as a drawing. And all of these are still checked out. So if I select the flashlight and I go to the bill of materials tab, I can see that nothing is generated at the moment. This is because we need to introduce these files into our vault and allow them to incorporate themselves into our workflows, categories, revision schemes, things like that. So we need to check these files in. So I'll go ahead and I'll highlight all of these files here and check them in. And I'll go ahead and press check in. Now that our files are checked in, we can go ahead and take a look at this flashlight drawing that we have here. And when I choose the Bill of Materials tab, notice that it's now computed a Bill of Materials for us. So I can see that for this flashlight assembly, this contains all of these components, a subassembly, and I have this, again, computed bomb that came from PDM. I have a SOLIDWORKS computed Bill of Materials here as well. So I can see I have a SOLIDWORKS bomb and a bomb that was computed by PDM. So I can use whichever one I'd like. For more information about these different bomb types, check out our automated bomb viewing video from our YouTube channel. You can find that link in the description. Now that we have imported our data and generated our bill of materials, we can now export this information for use in other areas such as an ERP system. So exporting a bill of materials is simple with SOLIDWORKS PDM. So on the bill of materials tab of your local view, we'll see this button in the top right hand corner that says open as a CSV file. So when we click this option here, it's going to ask us if we'd like to create a level column in the CSV file. So I'll go ahead and press yes so we can see what this looks like. And when I press yes, I can see that this opens up my bill of materials inside of Excel. And I can see that level column that was added on the left hand side. This level column is similar to the item number column inside of a SOLIDWORKS bill of materials. So if we didn't want this level column, we could either have pressed no, or we can manually edit this bill of materials inside of Excel. So if you needed to add anything, change anything, or delete anything, we can do that all inside of Excel, and then use this file wherever we save it, we can share that with whoever or wherever we'd like. So in this video, we were able to see how PDM automatically generates a bill of materials for our assemblies, which we can use to export to a CSV file. If you like this video, please be sure to check out our YouTube channel.